This tutorial is going to cover the options that you have up in your menu bar. When you installed your EasyGym software, you may have noticed that you have an additional menu bar, Action Apps. I'm going to show you what features you have in there. I'm going to first open up a design. I'm going to choose from one of the designs that come with the EasyGym software, one of our ready-made templates. It's an American flag. It's pretty complicated. It's comprised of stone size red, or stone size 10 in red, stone size 16 in white, and stone size 6 in blue. If I were going to cut this right from Corel Draw, I would use the Send Rhinestones to Cutter, which is right here. It brings up what looks like my print options. And I would choose my cutter right here. The general default is to separate your design into different pages depending on the size and color of your stones. So it's taking my three stone colors and sizes and separating them into three pages. Let's close out of this. This other button right here, the send outlines to cutter, is actually just sending the vector path to the cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here just to show you the difference. So you can see that it's just the vector lines that would be sent to the cutter. I would only use this option if I wanted to cut a design that is not a rhinestone design. So those are the differences between these two buttons. The only reason I show you those first is because those two options are also up here in your action apps. Send rhinestones to cutter is the exact same button and then the send outlines to cutter it's the exact same button, even the icons are right here. Both of these options are for cutting directly out of CorelDRAW. Big name cutters like GraphTech and Roland will be able to do that. If you have a lesser known cutter brand, there's a good chance you will not be able to cut directly out of CorelDRAW. Those cutters will come with a software program that you must cut out from. If that is the case, you can create your rhinestone designs in Corel and then transfer the files to your cutting program using the Save Rhinestones Cut file. What this actually does is convert our rhinestones into little vector circles. I'm going to go ahead and save this right to my desktop. I'm going to call it flag 3. Hit save. Let's go ahead and open that file now. And you can see how it's been transformed to little vector circles. I have three pages one for each color and size of stone. I would then go to File, Export, and I can export this file out as whatever file type your cutting program takes. Most likely that would be an EPS file or an SVG. Those are both very standard vector files. And then you would be able to open that file into your cutting program to cut your template. So right now this template is saved out into three separations. However, that's not necessary for this design. All of our action illustrated rhinestone templates are made so that each color is a different stone size. You can actually cut this as one template without having any issues while flooding. You simply flood the largest stones first 
In this example, it would be your white stones at stone size 16. The large white stones will not fall in to any of the smaller holes. So flood the white stones first, followed by the red, and finally the blue stones. I can set this design up to be cut that way by going to Action Apps and selecting Single Page Cutting. So now see how this little icon is highlighted? That means this option is turned on. So now if I go to Send Rhinestones to Cutter, you will see that it's all on one page. The single page cutting option will also adjust the save rhinestones cut file. It's actually going to save it as one page of vector circles. So let's go ahead and save this again now that we have the single page cutting option selected. I'm going to save it in the same place and this time I'm going to call it flag one. Hit save. So now if I open that file, you'll see the difference between the last cut file we saved. This file only has one page. That's how you would want to do that. Another cool feature we have under our Action Apps option is the Print Gem Worksheet. This is where I go to find out how many stones are in this design. So right now, I don't know how many stones I have of each color in this design. To find that out, I just go to the Action Apps and Print Worksheet. What this does is it actually adds an additional page to my Print Preview. So if I just go to my Print Preview here, go to page two, because page one is my design, page two is all of my rhinestone properties. It shows me the name of my design, and it gives me a breakdown of what rhinestones I have, how many of each color and size are in this design. This information is vital in knowing how much to charge your customers and how many stones you would need to order. I'm going to close out of this. The next four options we have under the Action Apps are tools for the Easy Stitch digitizing software. If you only have the GEM software installed, you won't see these or have access to these. The last option I have here is the Worksheet Info. This actually works for both my Easy GEM and my Action Easy Stitch software. This is where I can apply company information to my printout worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and put in Action Illustrated's information. I could input a logo here as well if I click on this button. It actually would just allow me to put a logo on here. I would put my address, my email. We'll just go ahead and hit OK right now. Now, when I pull up my print worksheet, the print gem worksheet, let's go back into the print preview, page two. You'll see that all of my information has been added on to this now. So I had my logo, my company name, phone number, alongside all of my, my rhinestone properties. So those are the different options that we have available to us under the Action Apps menu bar.